crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. And today I have a super huge, for me, thrift haul. And I hit three different places and Goodwill was the best place that I found stuff, but I don't usually score very well there. So I was pretty surprised. Um, but anyway, let's, let me show you what I found. It's pretty cool. So the first place I went was a place in Vermont. Had to go over there for to help some family out. And on the way by, I saw a really cool place. So on the way back by, I stopped and uh, with my daughter actually. And we just had a blast in there. It was just this big furniture antique building. And it was just packed full of stuff. I wish I had taken video, but there was... Uh, a couple people in there and I just felt kind of uncomfortable with it because they were just kind of roaming around too and I just wanted to take it all in because it was so much. So uh, as we went around I didn't find a lot of stuff that I wanted in the regular part but as we got to the very back, the back corner of this building, um, the darkest creepiest corner <laughs> of the back of the building, they had a dollar section. And this girl was like, woohoo, this is my place. <laughs> uh, so the first thing that I found was this really cool basket. I love the shape of this basket. This kind of leans back a little bit and I think it's supposed to, I'm not really sure, but um, it's got a little bit of damage here. This side looks really good. It's very, it's, it's dirty. It's very dirty, dusty. This stuff just got taken out of the truck and sat here um, and just waited for me to show you guys. So, but this is so cool and I love the colors. Uh, I may do like a white, you know, white wash on it and then bring back that color a little bit. It's kind of a brownish red. Not really sure, but I just love how flat it is and you can put so many different things on there. So you can make a little vignette or something. I really like it. So the other thing that I found was this globe. I really like this globe. I love the the roundness of it. Uh, and it can go, I think it goes like this because this has got like a little uh, lip on the chimney part here. But it could go either way, I suppose. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I liked it for a dollar. I was like, I'm going to go for it and we'll find something to do with it. Maybe not right now, but later on. This was in the regular section, um, but I they didn't have a price on it. So I grabbed it and I figured I'd ask and it come, came with this candle, never been used. So I could probably grubby that up and paint this. But uh, the guy said, where did you find that? And I told him and he goes, well, a dollar sounds good. And I was like, yes, it does. Sounds great. So this is just a little wood candle holder. I think it's so cute. So this also was in the dollar section. It's a little star candle holder. It's got three stars with a little cutout. Um, and then it came with this green candle, which I also could probably grubby up if I wanted to and uh, make those two pieces go together. But it was a dollar for the whole thing. Candle, stand, everything. But this is like a you know a metal metal piece, so very cool for a dollar. I really liked it. Let me show you the good side. <laughs> the other thing I found was this really cool basket. I loved this when I found it. It was like this and full of junk. Don't pass up things that uh, are holding other things. Sometimes it's it's easy to overlook. Oh, look at all that stuff in that basket. It's nothing I want, but the basket might be what you want. Uh, they do that in Goodwill a lot too, I noticed. Um, but this was only a dollar and it does have some damage. The handles on both sides, I don't know if you can see that, but the handles on both sides are kind of messed up. Um, it does have a metal, a little metal uh, sign there that says 77. Um, so, but the inside of the basket, it's a pretty sturdy little basket. The inside looks really great. The outside looks pretty good except for the ends. And I think there's a little piece coming out right here, but I love this basket. Um, and this was also in the dollar section buried and it had all kinds of stuff in it. Um, and even the guy that was selling this stuff was like, where did you find that? <laughs> I said, in the dollar section, I promise. Uh, and he said, really, wow. And he couldn't believe that that was there. But then I showed him the ends and a little bit of damage and he's like, oh, I see. 
but it's really a good basket. I really like it and I think I could put something over that, uh, kind of cover that up if I wanted to, but it would make a great veggie basket if I want to go out in the garden, get some veggies. It's pretty sturdy. So anyway, I thought that was pretty cool for a dollar. Okay, so while I was in Vermont, I went over by uh, Barry Vermont, B-A-R-R-E, I believe is how you pronounce it. And in the mall over there, they have a thrift store, so or a secondhand store. So there's uh, lots of really cool stuff in there. And uh, my daughter and I decided to pop in there. They have a country store in there, which is why we went in. And that was closed that day, but just down the way a little bit, a couple, uh, couple of built, uh, stalls down, there was this thrift store and we were like, wow, we didn't even know this was here. So um, I picked up a few things. This was $5. This is a wooden star. I've had one of these before and I decorated it up and did some stuff with it and it ended up selling very quickly on Etsy. So I was uh, pretty pleased with that. So I may do something like that again. I'm not really sure, but for $5, I thought it's pretty cool. It definitely needs paint job. It's very nasty and ugly, but I'm sure I can find a way to decorate it up. And then I found this metal heart. I'm not really into hearts all that much for decor, but I really like this one. I thought it was very pretty. Uh, it's got a nice uh, loop to hang stuff, and then it came with this little hanger here, and then you can put your little tea light in there. I also got, let's see, this was $3, and I got this for $4, a little star candle holder, so you can put your little candle there. It's got the little brackets, so for $4 on that one. And then I got this one for $5, so this is one of those candle things. It's supposed to have a wooden piece that you go around and it pushes the candle up as it burns down. It's just a decor piece. This is a, a real one, but I love the big handle on it. And I think one of my little grubby candles going in here would look really cool with some pit berries and maybe a, some kind of a bow or something on there. But I really thought it was cute for $5. So at Goodwill, I was happily surprised to find that a lot of the prices that um, I had been seeing were gone. They had dropped prices on a lot of things, which I thought was great. Uh, usually the things that I bought today um, have gone up to five, six, seven dollars, eight dollars uh, for these thrifted items and I was just like, I was not buying them because it was just a ridiculous price. Um, but I was just thrilled to find the prices a lot less this time and so I bought quite a bit of stuff and most of it is metal. I think just about all of it. So, first thing I got was this metal tray. This is so cute. It's definitely metal. This was a dollar, one dollar. I mean, this would at least be four or five if, if it was a few weeks ago. So I'm hoping they revamped their, their ideas and they've brought things down because um, I was really pleased to get this for a dollar. I would have probably even paid two or three. Don't tell them that, but uh, it was it's really cute. I love it. I got this basket, wired basket. Um, this one was this one was $4. It's got little feet on it, four little feet. Love that. It is gold. I probably won't keep it gold. It'll probably end up being black, um, but I really love it as a middle of the table decor piece or something like that. You could put stuff on it. You could put fruit on it. You, there's so many things that you could do, but for $4, I thought it was pretty cute. This was something that I saw last minute. I had gone through that aisle, and then when I came back by, I happened to look down again, and this was back on the shelf. Somebody must have probably wanted it, decided they didn't want it, put it back, or it came out of the carts when they brought them out, which I didn't see anybody with them, but it could have happened. But this was $3. It's a little pocket. It's got a flat um, piece on it. I love the scroll work, and I love all the detail that it has around the bottom so so pretty it's pretty just the way it is really but for three dollars i had to get it i think it'll look great with some greenery in it or something some pretty spring flowers um thought that was beautiful okay i got this star candle holder it can hang on the wall if you want it's got a hanger but it holds a tea light or a votive and that was really pretty and this was three dollars i'll probably clean it up a little bit because it is kind of kind of nasty and it's got some wax on it but I might not do too, too much to it because it's pretty cute the way it is. All right, I got this metal 
um, star candle holder as well. This one was $3. I really like this a lot. The candle cup is very small, so it would have to be a small uh, candle that would go in there, but thought that was really pretty. I like the color, the color it is too. I'm not sure if I'll leave it that way, but it's got a little hole to hang it. This was $3, a wired basket with these really cute little handles. And the um, it's got a pretty little springy look to it. It's yellow with purpley flowers. Probably won't keep it that way. I'll probably make it some kind of a primitive decor, probably black, and then do something around here to dress it up. Um, and something, of course, in the middle. But this would be a great, something great for spring, but it's kind of nasty. Um, it's kind of dirty, so I'd try to clean it up first, but pretty sure I'll, I'll change it up. But for $3, I thought that was a good deal. Okay, so this, I don't know, I think this was a glass globe for a light. This is where I found it in the light section. But I saw it and I really like the detail in it. I'm not sure if you can see all the lines. Um, but I really like it like this. And I wanted to put some kind of a tray or just use it as a riser. I think that would look really cool. There was no price on it, so when she rang it up, she said, I did this for a dollar for you. And I was like, thanks so much, it's awesome. So um, I'm gonna try to do something like that. I have a couple things here that I was gonna show you. This I've had, this is a rusty candle holder, but you know, something like that maybe, and painted. Or something like this big wooden bowl, this I've had. But um, I think that would look really, that's really cool. Then maybe painted so that they would be married together and look a lot nicer. But I thought that was really cool. This was a dollar and it's just a plastic gravy boat. And I think it had a cover on it, but it doesn't right now. So, but I really like it. I think I want to do like the stone look on it. Maybe some dabbing, some uh, baking soda and paint on it or something like that. And putting something in the middle, uh, sticking out greenery or whatever. But for a buck, I couldn't pass it up because I thought I could paint it and make it look really cool. This was $3. This was, it says under the mistletoe. So it's a little frame and then inside it says that, but I think I can paint that over and do something different in there. I could either put wallpaper or I do have stencils that have different sayings on them that I could put in there too. This one I thought was really cool. This was $6, I did pay for this, but this is a really heavy, metal piece it's actually metal and this part's wood right here but i love the scrolly pattern it's kind of a flower box holder maybe you put your plastic you know your little flower pots in there with your flowers or something like that but i saw it and i was like i've got to have it it's so pretty i may keep this for myself because it's very heavy and shipping would be a lot but it's got a lot of really cool stuff on it i may just leave it the same color I'm not sure, but I'm always looking for planters for outside around the chicken coop and stuff. So I thought this would be really cool. For $6, I sprung for it. I saw this too. This is a last minute purchase when I went down the aisle to get that other uh, green bucket. This was there too. This was $3. And it looks like a, I think an olive bucket maybe they call it. But this is a half a bucket. So it would hang on the wall or on a basket or on your door. A uh, little pocket in there for some greenery or pretty flowers sticking out. So I like that. So that was $3. This was only a dollar, but it was another metal bucket. And it's kind of a gaudy, gaudy looking bucket. But it's a half a bucket with a nice handle, a nice big um, opening in the top. And I think I could paint this up and decorate this up really pretty to hang on a door again or on the wall, on a basket, something like that. So I really like that one. This one was $3, but I love the ornate um, decor around the edges. I think it's one of those, um, you'd put a platter in there and you light the candle and it kind of kept your food warm. I won't use it for that. I think what I'm gonna do is make a wood bottom for it and maybe put some greenery down there to hide this part because I don't think it'll come off. And that will make a really cool uh, raised tray for a table or a countertop, your bathroom, something like that. I thought it was really, really pretty for $3. Okay, here's another wired basket. Uh, this one was $3 as well. So it has the basket bottom and then the wire 
around the edges. I really liked, and I really love the handles. So this one needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but I don't think it really needs all that much. This is a super cute little vase or a little creamer or something like that. This was $3, very cute. I love the shape of this, how it comes up around like this, and then the little handle. That would look great with some greenery in it. And I think last but not least, I got this. It came with the Christmas arrangement around it, but I think this would look really pretty anytime. You could change it out. This was $3. You could leave that in there. I don't know. I think it'd be really pretty with some candles in it or something like that. The display on your table any time of the year. Great haul from a few different places. I really had a lot of fun getting these. So if you're interested in some of these items will be up on my Etsy shop. I'll get them up there as soon as possible, hopefully before I release this video. Um, and so if you're interested in any, go check it out. They may be up there. And if you're interested in any more of my thrift hauls or thrift flips, I'll put a playlist right over here. Thanks for watching. Take care.